already know what it is. It's Barbershop Conversations. Hit the subscribe and the like button today. Still gonna get called niggers. Mm -hmm. So what's the fucking difference? You're right. <laughs> you feel me? Mm -hmm. I, 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 I couldn't agree with you more. And getting on Colin, Colin Kaepernick is my man of the year. Like, without a doubt. And, 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 and you know what the funny thing is? I, when uh, he won the, from his team, I, I, I saw you did, I saw you did a video on it. Uh, he, he got the, the leadership award for his team. I remember when I ran for office in Whittier. I, I don't know if you noticed, I ran for public office in Whittier. I, I lived in Whittier. For like, it's, a, it's a small little bastion here in Los Angeles. I went to college there. So I thought I was going to use that momentum to like win a public seat. And when he won the award, it reminded me of when I ran for office. For one simple fact, I would knock on white people's door. And they says, I'm 65, 70 years old. I can't publicly vote for you, but I can silently support you. And it was so many of his teammates that were silently supporting him. But because of the, the stigma that quite possibly could have been attached to them for supporting him, they supported him in silence. And for a man to win that award and be ostracized by mainstream media, to be ostracized by non i mean for him being labeled non-patriotic uh was just so powerful to me i was sitting there like when i read it on the bottom line today or yesterday i was like damn what a hell of an accomplishment by colin kaepernick and two you really never know who's genuinely supporting you because sometimes people want to want to self want to preserve themselves you know but in, in silence they're truly supporting you yeah, man, that's, I, when I first heard about it, I was proud, man. This uh, sister that followed my channel, she sent it to me, and mm -hmm. I read it because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm busy, so, you know, I work a lot, and it was great to hear something like that happen. It speaks volumes, man. You know, we already know how this works, man. When you participate in professional sports, mm -hmm. to a certain degree, you have to sell out whether you like it or not, man. It just comes to how much of a degree you want to sell out mm -hmm. and as basically what happened it, they were worried about losing endorsements and, that, and and being you know like you said ostracized out the league when they was a free agent and shit because you got to remember you, you got to remember friend, football ain't like basketball no it's not guaranteed shit. contracts you're right shit they could tear that motherfucker up after a year man it's like they can have a. It's like me and you could like be working a job, and they sign us to a five year extension. They say, "Hey, we're gonna give you this amount of money for five years," mm -hmm. and then a year later they come in and say, "Hey, Fred, uh, town man, check this out, man. We decided you ain't worth the money that we paying you. So basically, we want you to take a pay cut. And mm -hmm. if you don't take a pay cut, then you're gone. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> to sit up there and you know, Colin Kaepernick, he put it all on the line, man." He, did. he didn't care, man. He was a man of conviction and substance, mm -hmm. which it ain't too many of them type of cats around. To me, I feel like he, I, I feel like he don't always be remembered, man, mm -hmm. by the black community for the people that's really out there that's fighting a good fight, that's supporting our people. And, and, because at the end of the day, man, you know, it's always been this thing for the last like fifteen years with you know white America trying to make black people feel guilty about mm -hmm. helping other black people and caring about other other black people. Hey guys, it's your girl Angie. You're watching Barbershop Conversations. Make sure to click that button below to subscribe, like the video, don't like it, leave a comment. Um, you can also follow me at um, Angelica Curtis on Instagram. See you soon.